All right, thank you for having me to get to introduce my good friend, Sam Patania, as well as the fact that we've worked together for about 10 years. So when you think about Sam, to understand how he came to be here, you have to understand the story. And so I want to give you a little bit of the story. And the story starts in Italy, in Sicily, actually, in Messina. And it's a little town, well, it's not that little, it was 150,000 at that time, that that's where his family was. And Giovanni went to America in 1904 to be a cobbler. And Sam's great-grandmother, Angela, was there with the three kids, one of which was his grandfather, Sam's grandfather, who is uh, Frank Patania, the senior. So what happened that's so interesting when you think about this history is in Messina on December 28th of 1908, there was a massive earthquake and a tsunami and it wiped out the entire city. And his great grandmother, Angela, had a vision right before the earthquake. A saint had come to her in her sleep and said, get out of the bed, death. She left with the children, she went outside and the entire town went to smoke. Her house got crashed, and she was homeless. So her husband's in New York City. She's homeless with three little children, and so she has to get to America. So on May 26, they actually make it to America. They go on a ship called the SS San Gigioni, and this ship takes them to a new life. Now, without the angel, without this, you're not here. And <laughs> The grandfather, Frank, is born July 4th, 1899. Interesting, he picks that that date, July 4th, is when he's going to be born. So they show up in, in New York, and it's May 26th of 1909. That's when they get there. Now think about what's happening when they arrive. New York City at that time was alive with immigrants. On the Two years earlier, they had the largest amount of immigrants that had ever come through Ellis Island. You had one million people come through in 1907. So they arrive, it's bustling with lots of immigrants, and technology is changing, so lots of things are changing. That same year, September 29th of 1909, you had Wilbur Wright go around the Statue of Liberty. And this, your grandfather may have seen. It would have been in the newspapers, it would have been a big deal. That's the same year Geronimo died, as well as Frederick Remington. So this is the setting for his birth. Now, Sam's, when they, they his, his grandfather is, he has no education. He's 10 years old when he comes to the New World. And he has worked as a goldsmith from about age six to 10 in Italy. He comes over here. He works numerous jobs. He doesn't really get an education. He works in a torpedo factory, so he doesn't have to attend the war of in 1917. He goes through the 1918 uh, pandemic as well. So what happens is he starts working with a company, the largest goldsmith company and jewelry company in the world. And it's called Goldsmith Stern Company. And very interesting, the man who runs this, one of the owners, a guy named Nathan uh, Stern. And Nathan Stern takes a trip. And the trip is to Santa Fe. So he likes cars. He wants to go see the country. And he goes to Santa Fe, and he falls in love with that. He buys some property. He buys some businesses. And so without this trip, Sam's not here. <laughs> And here's why. <laughs> Frank, in 1924, develops uh, tuberculosis. Now, tuberculosis kills one in seven during this time in America and in uh, Europe. It's the worst disease. They called it consumption at that time. He develops it. And Nathan, who, again, owns this company, really likes this young man. He's only 24, and he says, you need to go to Santa Fe because there's a sanatorium there and we'll get you healthy, we'll get you back up on your feet. And so he goes there and he does, he does get better and he works for the company, the goldsmith uh, company, for another two years. He makes jewelry, it's all gold, sends it back 
to New York, and then he decides to open his own company, which is the Thunderbird Company. This is in 1927. Now, he not only opens that company, but he has a wife that he meets, and this is very important. This is Aurora. And Sam tells me, he goes, you can't tell this story, Mark, unless you really understand how important my grandmother was to the business. So it was not just Frank, it was also Aurora and her sister, Mirandi. So the, they're also immigrants, and they are Italian immigrants that live in Germany, then they go to Italy, they have the war, they finally get to America to meet their husband. He is just like Sam's uh, father, was, great great grandfather was, he was working in America, in Gallup, New Mexico, as a coal miner. So the kids, there's four little girls, his, his grandmother was oldest, they come over on the train, and when they get to Albuquerque, tragedy hits. She, her, her his mother gets very ill, they take her off the, off the train, and she dies. So now you have four little girls, and the father is somewhere in Gallup. He gets wind of what happens, he writes back, and he's ill. He also probably has tuberculosis, and he's working in a coal mine. He dies. So now she and the four, the four little girls are in an orphanage in Santa Fe. And so they grow up and they meet Frank Sr. in a hospital. That's where Aurora meets, her, meets Frank. They fall in love and they get married in 1930. And in 1932, they have your father. And he also, just like his, uh, his father, works in the back of a jewelry store. This time it is the, their store, which is the Thunderbird shop. Now they have a shop in Santa Fe in 1927 and they open one here in Tucson in November of 1936. A lot of you probably have went to some of the different stores over the years. And Sam's father, Junior, Frank Junior, he has a different sense of how he wants to see the world, right? He sees it in a more modern sense as well as architectural sense. And when his father, his, his father, not Sam's, his grandfather, dies in February of 1964, then his father, Sam's father, takes over running the Thunderbird shop. And then, in 1961, he's born. <laughs> and after he graduates high school in 1979, he does just like his father before him and his grandfather before him. And he works in the back of the store. He becomes a great silversmith, goldsmith, and then he also goes into the business as soon as he graduates. So now Sam's going to tell you from here on the rest of the story. <laughs> but I want you to think about all the things that had to go on, right, to allow him to be here tonight. You know, you had a major earthquake. It was actually the largest earthquake in Europe, and I think it still may be for deaths anywhere in Europe. You had to have orphans because of the deadliest disease, consumption, TB, and everything had to come together, and Nathan Stern had to take that trip to Santa Fe in 1911, or he would have never ended up in Santa Fe because he probably would have died in consumption in New York City. And so now Sam is gonna tell you the rest of the story. Yes.